In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a formula in order to retrieve the last value before the first empty cell within a column in Excel. And in order to do so, I'm going to be using this data set over here, which as you can see contains a blank cell within the data set. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to show how to retrieve the last value within a contiguous block of data. In this case, this block of data over here. So I want the last value before an empty cell, if there is an empty cell, of course, within the column. Now, if you want to find the last value within a column, regardless of whether or not there are blank cells within that column, I've also made another video for that. And the link for that video is in the description box. So make sure you check that out as well. So in order to uh, get what we want, we have to use a formula similar to the one which is currently displayed on the screen over here. Now I'm going to apply this formula and then I'll briefly explain how it works. So I'm quickly going to copy and paste this formula in this particular cell over here. And there we go. And as you can see, the correct value has been returned. So the last value before an empty cell shows up in column B is Rachel. And as you can see, this formula is correctly returning Rachel. And that's exactly what we want. Let's just test this out before I explain it. So let's just add another value to this column. For example, let's add a, another name at the end of column B. I'll add a name, for example, Don. Let's see what happens. It's still returning Rachel. And that's because Rachel is still the last value in this contiguous block of data. Now let's see what happens if you go ahead and delete this blank cell over here. I'm going to delete this row. Now, as you can see, Don has been returned. And that's because Don is now the new value before the last empty cell, which also happens to be the last value in this column. Now let's go ahead and create another empty cell somewhere within this column. For example, let's say we insert a new row over here. Now you can see Sam has been returned because Sam happens to be the last value before the first empty cell shows up. So this formula is giving us exactly what we want. And that's how it works. Now I'm going to quickly explain how this formula works. And I'll begin by explaining the embedded parts. That's why I'm first going to explain what this is blank does within the inner part of the formula. So this is blank argument over here checks every cell in column B and marks them as either true or false. It marks them as true if they're empty and false if there's something within column B. So that's what this is blank does. The next argument is this index argument over here. And this part just keeps the list of true and false as is, so we can work with the whole column. Next, we have the match argument, which is this part of the formula. And in this part, we're basically hunting for the first true. That means the first empty cell. And last but not least, we have this first index, which surrounds the entire formula. So once we find the first empty spot, we go back one step to find the last cell that isn't empty. And that's what this index over here does. And using this formula, we get the last value in a contiguous block of data within a column. And that's how it's done. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos.